detector going off. Same detector going off in the bothy there. We may be in a slight spot of trouble. Whoops. Steady. I need that. What's it called? Uh, what do you call it? The steady. Or the HDR thing or something. Aye. It was slightly wind forest. They taped off and it said forest for sale. Like wood for sale. 12.38, Friday the 23rd of November, 8 degrees, skiving off work and we're going to do some uh, bike packing, a couple of days bike packing, a wee overnight heading to Loch Trool, Loch D, Clattering Shaw's Loch and, uh, and then back in a wee circuit, so should be good fun. Richard's professional setup, <laughs> and I'm basically just backpacking the normal way I do, except with a bike. Should have oiled my chain before I came out. Maintenance in the field. <laughs> Actually, maintenance is not a word I'm familiar with anyway. <laughs> so. Very nice. Right. The second of our locks, the three is in sight. Thank Christ. <laughs> Says Richard looking less flat. Not flapped for me. Fat. Yeah. Fat. No idea what that actually says. We're coming over the brow of the hill to Loch D and over to your right, somewhere on that right hand side of the loch is where uh, is it called Junish Bothy? Junish? Yes. I'll correct that online if I've got it wrong. Loch D. And I think the I may have got it wrong then. White lagging, Bothy, did you say? Yeah, I think Somewhere so. up there. May have a look for it, possibly on the way back. Focus on and track the subject for your location. Location tag here. Possible campsite tonight. Just down by that beach. Maybe. Woo. There you go. We're at Clattering Shaw's Loch, so we're nearly at the furthest away point. A couple of hours in, I think. I'll check the time in just a minute. Pitch stop at, I don't know what his name, Clattering Shaw's Loch. Yeah. We're nearly on the main road. We've been tarmacked the last couple of miles. We're going on the main road, and then we're going to head right around the loch over there, and back in again, and then head a potential campsite for the night, wherever that may be. <laughs> We're going to head round the lock, far side of that horizon there, back in towards the hills over there for tonight. So now five o'clock, it's gone a bit dark. Uh, we're at one degrees now, and it looks a fairly clear sky, so I think uh, it's going to get a wee bit chilly tonight. Onwards, we're nearly back at the uh, Bevy Point, hopefully. Um, looking forward to some dinner. Hopefully it's going to be nice. So we're still cycling. Uh, as you can see, it's dark. So we need the old uh, head torch on so we can see what we're doing. Get a bit of light in the subject. There we go. Aha, we found the track again. And there is uh, there's Andy. It's now, it's now very dark and we're still riding but we're nearly at the bevy spot hopefully this is Andy who's coming up the hill having stopped to fix his wee disco light but it's head torches on and uh, trying to navigate and watch out for the potholes and the deep gravel all good fun sky looks it's clearing up nicely we should get a good dark sky Thank 
Detectors are going off in the bothy there, we may be in a slight spot of trouble. Whoops. Well, it's good to know it works though, eh? I, I still feel fine though, so we'll crack on, we'll keep going. Yeah, exactly. Fire's burning nicely. I feel a bit drowsy, I'm slurring my words, but okay. Well, it could be something at the door. Oh. Oh, the flames are nice. The fire is dying. And I've got my gloves drying out nicely. And we no longer are going to kill ourselves. Can't remember what side, the alarm has gone alarm. off. Well, actually, I turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly the, uh, not the best way forward, but hey-ho. Enjoy the flames. Enjoy your virtual fire. Ah, here we are at the Dark Skies Park, and we've found the seating area. Hey, we have a full moon in the sky tonight. A little bit of cloud cover, but these seats are brilliant. These are for uh, yeah. and you can the, have a fire the, on. the perfect angle. You can have a wee fire on. Fantastic. And there's uh, two, three of these very laid back oh, man, seats. <clears throat> and uh, they allow you to sit and. Uh... and this is the. Uh, this, is, this is. Oh, sorry. Right, hold on. Echo test. Hello! Ooh, came back sounding like somebody was losing it. Very good. Hello! Ooh, that's a good one. Last night or something? Wasn't too bad at all. Yeah, we survived the night. Andy was in the uh, luxurious side of the. Uh, Camping experience. Yes. So we had a nice wee, lovely wee water source, and a little headland at the river. Andy trying out his big sky with a one man in it. Seemed to have a rather nice night. There was an old fire that we never found any wood to uh, get started so uh, I went for the more minimalist approach in the Alp kit bivy uh, which was surprisingly warm it was good so it all went well just need the sun to come up and we'll be laughing that was our uh, camping spot down below in there with a lock in the distance which we just thought was just too far to go in uh, the darkness last night now the road beckons and the return leg uh, the bodies are still to wake up slightly a wee bit, but uh, I'm sure we'll cycle into it. And we're on the final leg, we've been really quick back to Glen Trill, uh, the car park. Final last few climb, we technical climb back up. Didn't realise we had so many ups on the way out, so it's really nice to have all the downs on the way back. <laughs> you loved it really. <laughs> 